Okay, here we go. Talisa Fuaga, Oregon State right tackle, one of the top. Okay, a lot of talk about Oregon State right tackle, Talisa Fuaga, right here, number 75. Had a really good combine. In fact, he was my number one star um, for my three stars, you know, channel and my hockey love. They always have the three stars of the game. Well, Fuaga was one of those three stars on the Sunday Combine. He was tremendous. Athleticism for days. Uh, great movement skills. We'll take a look at him both during the season and at the Senior Bowl. And when I've been asked about him, people think, okay, what do you want? You know, what do you want to see or what do you see from Fuaga? The first thing that comes to mind is violence and physicality. And you got to love that. And this is a perfect example. This is ETF, one of my favorite guys the last three years. I just, I love what he's done for Washington. Fuaga's right here. And I just want you to watch how far he displaces ETF when he makes contact. So you got split zone coming here. So ZTF widens with the, the uh, condensed split. So he widens just to make sure he's not getting cracked on. He's like, nope, not getting cracked on. Okay. But he doesn't get back and watch Fuaga just watch him toss him, basically. Wah! Look how far he is displaced. Now, his momentum is going that way. I get that. ZTF's 260. Fuaga's 320. So, yeah, physics tells you, okay, he's going to get moved. But look at how far he gets moved on this play. And this play will run, basically right where Fuaga was blocking. Now, Fenwick should have stayed front side and stayed away from Ulefosio, but you get the point here. Fuaga's got such strong hands and violence, football violence, that is. Now, would you love to see him stay on this, keep, keep the uh, sound base, and really drive ZTF? Yeah, you see that a lot of times from him a little bit you know, later and throughout the season. This way he doesn't get that much, but he just gets the movement of a 260-pound man. Look at me. He's all the way pushing to the bottom of the numbers. It's pretty impressive from the Oregon State right tackle. Let's take a look at him and some of the things he can improve on with his pass protection. That's coming up right now. Okay, let's take a look at Fuaga at the Senior Bowl. Against Leatu Latu, Fuaga v. Latu. And if you see this from one side of the field, I think you have a different impression of it than you see it from this side. If there's one thing that I think Fuaga's got to improve on a little bit, and you're actually going to see him do that in the next clip. But in this one, you're going to see Latu with a nice little inside swipe move right there. Now, Fuaga on this one. Obviously, good bend, good stance, kind of 45-degree set. But it's right here where that arm, look, I see that arm is kind of out wide. And look, he's back on his heels. Latu's kind of movement has got him back on his heels a little bit. Now, that hand goes right there. I'd like to see that hand stay inside the framework of the body. And because that hand is out here, that gives the impression of holding. May not be. Now, right there, it definitely is. Latu knows, hey, he's got his arm out there. Work against that. As you become a veteran rusher, you end up selling that. You get the holding call, etc. But you see the strength of Fuaga. Once he kind of gets back on his toes a little bit, you see the strength right there. He's going to take Latu and just kind of keep riding him by, and then boom. I mean, he's got a ton of strength. But because that hand is right there, that's going to end up being a holding call because Latu's done a nice job of trying to work inside, but Fraga's strength is not allowing him to. That's going to end up being a holding, okay? So that's one thing from a pass protection standpoint would like to see. Inside moves, and look, Fraga is not the only tackle I've ever seen from a college level had trouble with some inside moves. It happens, especially against a skilled dude like Latu. So let's take a look at what happens when you get it right with your hand placement and what that looks like in our next clip against Michigan's Jalen Harrell. Okay, let's watch Fuaga make some adjustments here with his hand placement. I think this is a good indication of 
making adjustments on the fly, got beat by a really good skilled rusher on the first one. I thought, even though you saw a lot of really good stuff, you saw the violence, you saw the strength, you saw all that. So now here we go against Jalen Harrell. So Fuaga is going to take his, his steps. Now look at his left arm. Instead of getting out wide, where's he get it? He gets inside the framework of the body right there. So now he can control him. That arm isn't out there. That's not going to be holding. Okay? I'd like to see him a little bit lower in his stance and his head up, but because his hand placement is better, he's got an opportunity because of his strength too. Okay? See, there's that hand. It's not over on the back. It's over in front. Now he's able to control him. Got a little spin move at the end. You don't need that right hand. Kind of see that right there. You don't need that. Just drop and replace and get the hand back up where it needs to. Now, some would say, well, Harold beat him right there. He got to the quarterback. Nah, eh, that ball's gone. That's a long rush, even though I've kind of got it in slow motion. That ball is probably gone. But feet good, hand placement better on this. Okay? Now, the right hand, like I said, got a little grabby on, the, on the, uh, that part right there. But I don't think you can get a holding. What I don't like is good rusher is going to make that quicker, happen quicker, and then get beyond him get back to back basically and now he's in trouble but Fuaga is so strong that he's able to control him right there but he does it because his hands are inside the framework of the body does get a holding keeps him out of there squares him up right again there quarterback's probably moving up in the pocket at that point ball's gone good rep good hands there's a lot of really good about Fuaga at Oregon State the strength the power the athleticism for a tackle, the twitchiness, he's got it all. Um, he's really fun. Technique, continue to work at it. Can you work on where the hand placement is? And I think Fuaga is going to end up being one of the better young tackles in this league for a long time. <laughs>